Hi everybody, my name is Caroline. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the selfie camera from Canon with the paper. This is not a paid endorsement. This is actually not an endorsement at all. I paid for all of this with my own money. And now I'm going to show you air printing with the iPad. Hit photos on my iPad and I can select from different photos I have. I'm going to select this photo, swipe over to print and I've got the Canon selfie and I'm going to print this photograph. And oh, there it goes. It says busy. And there we go. We have a perfectly printed photograph. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and print to this printer. I like this printer because it is the closest thing to actual photographs, not from a lab that you can print at home. I have already unboxed it. I haven't unboxed uh, the refill paper, but I have unboxed the printer itself. I bought the case for this and I really like the case as it makes it really portable for me. The printer, this is the printer itself and this is the power cord for the printer. We'll take that out and then the paper tray goes right in here. So it's just perfect to store and to take with you. That's what I really like about this printer. So let's uh, plug this in. So this goes in here and then plug this in right here and then I'll plug, plug in the printer itself. Got the printer and then I need you open this and then you open this. I'm done with the first cassette here and I'm going to pull it out. So this is what the ink looks like. It's not actually ink cartridges. It is four pieces of film per print that you're going to make and that's how you get to that actual photograph like quality at home. And then this is the paper tray. Open the paper tray like this. So let's open this up. You get three ink trays and you get one, two, three, four, five, six trays of paper. It says 108 sheets plus the ink and these are all four by six sheets and they do have perforations on the side so that you can print right to the edge. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to put some of this stuff aside. Let's get this loaded now. So you want to tear into this and Open up your paper and then open and I'm going to put my paper right here. Load it in my paper. When you're storing this and moving this, make sure this is closed. That way it's, it's all your paper is enclosed. When you're ready to print, you pull up one open and this became, becomes a tray for the photographs that are printed to go into. The output tray. Put that in and then next we'll open up one of these ink cartridges here. And then we'll turn it on its side and we'll put in the ink cartridge. And it goes in just like that. And we'll close that. Got everything loaded. Store this at home somewhere and then you can take the rest of this with you. Now let's, let's turn this on. So the first thing you want to do, you will hold down the on button. And then the Canon logo comes on and it will check your paper, check your ink and it's ready to go. If you don't have internet or if you have pictures you just want to print they're on an SD card then just put it in right here. I am going to set this up to print on Wi-Fi. All right so in order to do that and this screen flips up so I can see a little better I'm going to put it all the way down and first it's it's not a touch screen. <laughs> That's, that was my first inclination. Not a touch screen. So the first thing you want to do is get it on your Wi-Fi. So you want to hit Wi-Fi settings, connection settings, set printer name and then via Wi-Fi network my connection and then I want to search for an access point and then I can see all of the different Wi-Fi's and then I want to enter my password. Okay, how do I do that? I want to hit menu and then I want to go to lowercase letters since my password is lowercase. I'm going to hit menu again and sure enough there it is. So here I go typing in my Wi-Fi password and I hit finish. And then I'm going to hit OK for next and then it should be connecting. So connected to access point, that's my access point and then I want to connect my device to my Wi-Fi. It is now a Wi-Fi printer. I'm going to go home. I am on my home Wi-Fi now. Excellent. And I am going to download the appropriate apps 
to print from my phone. Go to Play Store and I'm in my Google Play Store. Now this is for an Android device. If you have a Apple device, an iOS device, you can use AirPrint once you've got it set up on your Wi-Fi. Actually the easiest way of doing it, quite frankly. And I will, I will demo that right at the end. But for here, you wanna search for selfie, S-E-L-P-H-Y, and there are actually two apps that you need. One is the Canon print app and the other app is the selfie photo layout app. And I'm gonna install that. If you just wanna print a picture as is, you're gonna do that from the Canon app. If you wanna print like a film strip, you can print three pictures in a row with this and then cut it in half and it becomes a film strip. So let me start by showing you the Canon app. I'm going to Canon print. Okay, to use this app, the following permissions are required. Please allow them in the app screen. Do you wanna show us the app screen? Yes, I do wanna show the app screen. Permissions, I'm gonna to touch no permissions allowed. And I'm going to turn on everything. Now this may not happen to you as it didn't happen to me the first time I set this up. Permissions, camera location and storage. I needed all that in order to use this app. And here we go, this is the Selfie CP1300. We can do a photo print and there are different photo, uh, these are terrible photos. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a better photo to print here. I selected my image that I want to print next and then I can print my image. I want borderless printing and I'm going to hit print and then you should see this and it will do four passes. One for each color. So the first pass is yellow and the second pass is magenta and this is a picture of me at the New York Marathon. So I just finished the New York Marathon. I, I think I talked about that in a different video. I did also talk about my preparation for the New York Marathon in my, on my YouTube channel. And that was Cy Cyan. And then the last one is this glossy coat they're gonna put on the photograph to protect it. Here is my photograph. This is not gonna smear off. This is not an inkjet printer. My, print, my printing is completed. And what's really cool is there's perforations that just pop right off at the edges here. It's borderless and it is just one single great photograph. That was printing one photograph with my selfie printer uh, from my app. Now, if I wanna print six images on one piece of paper, if I wanna do that film strip looking thing, I'm gonna hit selfie photo layout and it's actually going to take me to the other app that I downloaded at the beginning of this video. And uh, now we've got several choices. You can uh, create a bookmark, you can shuffle, you can arrange your photos, you can print two to a page, and then you can select and print just like the other one. So you can do eight, you can do four, or you can do two photos. Let's do four photos, select photos. I'm going to hit allow, and then I'm going to choose four photos. So I'll choose this photo, and I'm going to choose this photo, three, four. And now I can print four pictures. I'm going to do a print preview. You can select borderless or with the border. I'm going to choose without the border. And there is my picture. And all I'll do is hit print. And now this is key. Make sure there's nothing behind your printer that is going to make it jam. It's going to go all the way out, so you need to make sure you have plenty of space behind the printer. So you can do a lot of different sizes from just a 4x6 because I'm going to print out these four photos and then I'm going to cut it into four pieces and I'm going to have four little pictures. And once again you see the yellow. I'll do four passes. Okay, and we're done. And now I've got, I'm gonna tear off the perforation again. And my printing is completed, okay. I've got four pictures now. Cut them up, now you've got four pictures to share. That's, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna do, yes, I wanna do that. So now you can create a bookmark, and this is four pictures. These are gonna be the same four pictures, both sides. And then you can, um, then you'll print out two of the same bookmarks and then you'll, you'll cut that in half and then you have one to keep and one to share. That is generally speaking how you print out uh, photos with your selfie Canon printer. Um, it, it's smudge free. These are, these are as close as I've ever seen in my entire life to lab quality photos in your home. And once again, I'm not paid to endorse this product at all. I purchased this, the paper, everything that you see here, I purchased with my own money. Now I'm going to show you an even easier way to print. You can air print from your iOS devices, including your iPhone or your iPad 
to the selfie. Let me show you how to do that right now. And now I'm gonna show you air printing with the iPad. Now I've got my iPad out here. All I'm gonna do is hit photos on my iPad and I can select from different photos I have. I'm gonna select this photo and I'm going to hit the uh, share button, I guess. it's. I'm not sure what that button's called, but I'm gonna hit that button with the square and the arrow so that I can have choices. So I, I can email this photo. I can do a lot of different things with this photo. What I'm gonna do is swipe over to print and I've got the Canon selfie. So you can choose your printer. I'm gonna choose the Canon selfie printer. You can even do black and white color. You can do more than one copy. I'm just gonna do one copy and I'm gonna print this photograph. And oh, there it goes, it says busy. And there we go, we have a perfectly printed photograph. Uh, matching our photograph here on our iPad and I'm going to just and once again it prints right to the border and I just have to pop off these this perforated edges and look at that it looks just like a photograph and it's not it's not ink it's not smearing and these are this is I'm just amazed by this little printer. Um, I paid $99 for the printer. Um, the paper is very expensive, of course, and the ink, it's a, it's a combo set, 108 pages of 108 four by six pages here for about $30, so that works out to be a little bit less than 30 cents per print. But hey, if you just need to print a couple pictures at home, um, this is the way to do it. Uh, now your next question is probably what do you do with photographs like actual photographs? Well, I what I did is I went on Amazon and I also purchased uh, sleeves um, And I can insert my photos into sleeves that have a magnetic backing on them And then I put them on the refrigerator and this is a little collage I've got going on my refrigerator now this this has been a lot of fun uh, Printing with the selfie camera. I am gonna do a follow-up video uh, that's going to be a little more technical, which is printing to a photo booth next time. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.